Hello, my name is Stanford Gibson. I'm the sediment transport specialist at the Hydrologic Engineering Center. And we have this really cool new tool in 6.3 called the rating curve calculator. If you go to the hydraulic design menu and you go to type and all the way at the bottom, you get the rating curve calculator. And what this does is this brings in sediment data and gives you a lot of statistical tools to visualize and analyze it. And we've got this really cool feature where you can just kind of press here or you can go to file, import, USGS web importer. And if you live in the United States, we'll bring data in directly from the US Geological Survey. And so for example, I'll just go here and I'll uh, choose California. And let's say we want to look at the Eel River and uh, I search, it'll bring up all the USGS data from the Eel River. It'll populate how many loads and concentrations each one of them have. It'll let you know which ones don't have data. And so we can just say, hey, let's go to the Eel River at, re at Steward. We'll import. If they don't have flow data, we'll go get it from the daily flows. And that's really nice. You know, it just brings in the data that we want, and then we'll do another video on how to use these tools. But we got stationarity, we got uh, hysteresis, we got all sorts of tools to help you with that. And that's great if you live in the United States and you have, and your river has USGS sediment data. And But one of the questions we've been getting is, yeah, like what about the rest of the world? What if uh, we don't want to import this? What if we have external sediment data? Can we use the tool? And the answer is absolutely yes. And so this video, we're going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to go file clear all and uh, and reset my, uh, my, my rating curve calculator. And I'm just going to bring over some data that from a project that we worked on with Calvin Creech several years ago. We have a couple papers on this if you want to check it out. But these are data between from 2009 to like 2014, around the time the dams went in on the Madera River. And this is data from Puerto Vallejo. And so what you need to do to get data into the uh, rating curve calculator is, well, there's a couple ways you can do it. Um, there's a link down in the information about the different ways you can do it. You could create a comma delimited file. Um, you, it always needs to be in this date, time, flow, load format. But there's also a copy and paste option. If you just make an Excel spreadsheet that has that format, um, you can copy and paste. And so let's open up another Excel sheet, a blank one. And I've got a date. So I'll go get my dates and put them there. And then I've got flows and loads. I actually have flows and concentrations. Is that OK? Yes, it is. So I'll get my flows and concentrations. And I'll, I need a, a date, a time column, because it goes date, time, flow, load. And so I'll put my flows and concentrations there. And then, and then um, I have a problem. I don't have time. Well, that's OK. Um, because as long as you have it in the four columns, um, we'll recognize. So then I'll come here. Control shift down, control shift over, and I'll just copy those four columns of data. I'll come in here, file, import, clipboard, and it'll ask me, hey, are these load data or concentration data? Well, they're concentration data, so I'll select concentration, import, and we've brought the data in. And one of the things I really like about these data is actually that um, these data have very strong hysteresis. The Minadera River has extremely strong hysteresis, strongest I've ever seen. And so if you step through the different years here, you can see that you know these data have, like there's much more sediment on the rising limb than the falling limb. Another thing that's interesting about these data, there is pretty strong non-stationarity because you know the dams went in and things changed over time. And so you can see that you know kind of the early ones are higher than the later ones. But that's how that works. Um, if you don't have time data, it's okay. We'll just kind of give it like a noon date, a noon time for the date. If you don't have date data, you could also just leave the first two columns open, but then you can't use any of the statistical tools or the visualization tools that are temporal, which is really the stationarity and hysteresis. Those require temporal data, but you can still do the piecewise linear. You can still do the bias correction, um, and you can still do the correlation analysis. So the things that are time specific. Um, you can't do if you don't have date and time data, but you can do some of the other stuff. Um, so that's how you bring in external data. It's actually pretty easy to bring external data um, if you uh, don't have access to a USGS.
Gage. Again, my name is Stanford Gibson. I'm the sediment transport specialist at HEC. This tool was developed by the Mississippi River Geomorphology and Potomology Program, and this video was funded by the H Agency COP SET program.